Bernard. I'm David, your host teacher, and I'm broadcasting from London, Ontario, in Canada. And today we continue on the seven future judgments. There are seven or there are various judgments that will take place after the rapture of the church. We did already the judgment seat of Christ. We did the Old Testament believers' judgment. And then we did the judgment of the Jews and so forth. Today, we are going to look at the next judgment. The judgment of the nations. The judgment of the nations that will take place after the second coming of Christ and before, before the millennium period. It is at many times we have read the parable of the sheep and the goats. And many times we are puzzled. Who are the sheep? Who are the goat? And why the goat were put into hell? Well, today... We will look at that. And I will cover one judgment today. As I said yesterday, I would not be too long. So we are looking at the judgment of the sheep and the goat. And if you want to read more in the scriptures, you look at Matthew 25, Matthew 25, verses 31 to 46. All Gentiles who survive the tribulation will be judged right after the second coming. As Christ sit on his glorious Shown. So, as Christ sat on his glorious throne after the battle of Armageddon, he will call the nations together. And at this time, he will separate the nation on the right side of him, on the left side. On the right side, he will put the sheep nation. On the left side, he will put the goat nations. The sheep will enter the millennial kingdom and the loss in this parable will be cast into hell. So it is the parable of the sheep nation and the goat nations. Hallelujah. Scripture reading Matthew 25 31. When the Son of Man comes, in his glory and all the angels with him then he will sit on his glorious throne he will sit on his glorious throne so this is the period of time after the tribulation. 
Note it. The believer has already been judged at the judgment seat of Christ. The Old Testament believers was judged and the Jews were also judged. Verse 32 Before him will be gathered all the nations. So at this time, after the battle of Armageddon, he will call all the nations. And he will separate them one from another as a shepherd separate the sheep from the goat. So Jesus called the nations together and separate them as a shepherd would separate sheep from goat. Hallelujah. And he will place the sheep on his right side, but the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by the Father, inherit the kingdom I prepare for you from the foundation of the world. So the people in the sheep kingdom will inherit the kingdom of God. Now, this parable, let us look who are the subjects in this parable. The sheep and the goat kingdom. These were kingdoms or people or nations of people that were left after the battle of Armageddon and after the tribulation. They were not numbered among the believers of Jesus Christ. Neither were they Jews saved. So they were Gentile nations. Yesterday I said, so far in the judgments, we are talking about two peoples, two sets of people, the Jews and the church. The Jews and the church. Today, as we look at the sheep and goat nations, we going to realize we have come to the Gentiles. The Gentile nation. In this world, people could be addressed as Jew, the church, or the Gentiles. Again, I repeat it. The Jews, the church, that is the believers in Christ, and the Gentiles. So today, we come to the Gentile nation and we come to the place where God, where Jesus going to judge the Gentile nation. Now what is the time of this judgment? When it is, when it is going to take place? It's going to take place at the time of the revelation of Christ. That is when Christ returned from heaven to earth, uh, to he from heaven to earth, the place of the judgment. It will be 
at the throne of his glory. So at this time, Jesus has come and set up his kingdom in Jerusalem. And Jerusalem will be his capital. Hallelujah. The throne of his glory on earth in the valley of Jehoshaphat. Hallelujah. For a basis of this judgment. The basis of this judgment, how they are saved or condemned, will be based on their treatment of Christ's brethren, the Jews. Who are Christ's brethren? The Jewish people. So the nation, the sheep nation and the goat nation will be judged by how they have treated the Jews in the tribulation. In the tribulation. Look at the stand. Look at the United Nations. Look at the turn. Look at the twist. Look at nations. How they react towards the Jews. This will give you an idea of what is going to happen. How Christ will judge the nations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The result of this judgment. Some nation will be saved, and those are the sheep nation, and others will be destroyed. That is the goat nation. The saved nation are those that treat the Jewish people well. Jesus said, I was in prison. And you did not visit me. I was sick. And you did not come. So. How is it. You. As a child. Of God. You. As a person. Are treating. The nation. The Jews. What have you done. For the Jews. The Bible say. Let us. Pray for Jerusalem and for the peace of Jerusalem. Are you doing that? Are you praying for them? Have you given to them in this time of turmoil, of war? Are you blessing the Jews or are you condemning the Jews? This judgment that will take place in the future will be the judgment of how we treat the Jews. If you notice, if you notice, there is no resurrection of the dead. That is, the, the dead in Christ did not rise. The Old Testament saint did not rise. There is no resurrection in the judgment of the sheep and the goat. There is only the living nations at the end of the tribulation that will be judged. It is only the people who left alive will be called up to come before the throne of glory come before the master and the master will judge him. How did you treat my brethren? My brethren are the Jews. How did you treat them? Thirdly, this judgment is upon earth. Is not in the sky. Is not up in glory. But right here upon earth. Hallelujah. No, fourthly, no books are open to judge them. Because in the tribulation, 
they know how they treat the Jews. You know as a nation what you say about the Jews. Hallelujah. Fifthly, there are three classes of names mentioned in this parable. The sheep nation, those that will be saved. Two, the goat nation, those that will be condemned. Three, the brethren, the Jews. And lastly, the time is before the millennium. 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 Remember that name. Millennium. That is before 1,000 years when Christ shall reign over this earth. In the time when he will reign over the earth. The sheep represent one class of nation and the goats another class while the brethren represent another. This prophecy clearly states that there will be a judgment of nations on the earth in the valley of Jehoshaphat at the time of the restoration of the Jews on their own land. So at this time, the Jews will be established in Jerusalem. Those that remain, remember the, the last time that we talked, I said two-thirds, two-thirds of the Jews will be destroyed and only one-third will remain. And when Christ comes, he will judge and be the ruler and the king in the nation of Israel. Hallelujah. The kingdom is the millennium kingdom. The sheep nations as the, uh, as the nations will inherit and possess during the time of the millennium. So, the people that will go and live in the Millennium Kingdom are the sheep nations. Note, they are not immortal like the Christians that were saved, nor the Jewish people that were saved. The sheep nations will be the immortal, immortal. That is, the, the people who are able to die, but they are not saved. So their salvation will be based on how they act towards God, towards Jesus Christ, towards the Word of God, and if they serve God, if they serve God faithfully, they will be saved and called up. At the end of the millennium, they will come before God. Hallelujah. They are among the same nations of the earth. It can be said of them that they are, or at least the righteous individual of them, shall enter into eternal life. Their eternal life will be at the end of the millennium. If they serve Jesus Faithfully, at that time during the millennium period, people will begin to live thousands of years. 
people will begin to live like Adam, like Eve, like Noah time, like Methuselah. They will live to be near a thousand years. So as somebody that is born at the beginning of the millennium may very well live right through the millennium. Because at the beginning of the millennium, Satan will be plunged into darkness. He will be put into chains and tied up into the bottomless pit. The, the Antichrist and the false prophet will be put into the, into the lake of fire. Hallelujah. So that brings me to the end of this judgment. The judgment of the sheep and the goat nations. I want you to decide again. I want you to decide as a person, as a person that is listening today, which judgment do you want to be in? Do you want to be in the judgment seat of Christ? Or do you want to be in the tribulation and then accept Christ as your Lord and Savior? Or do you want to be a person in the sheep and goat nations? Who do you want to be? Tonight, as a person, God gives you a free will. You can decide, I'm going to serve him or I'm not going to serve him. You can say, away with you, David. Away with what you are saying. And the many things that you are saying. But today, I want you to know that the word of God is true. And the prophecies will come forth as true and correct. And one of these days is going to say, I'm sorry I didn't listen to this pastor, to this teacher, to this child of God. Who do you want to be? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the wisdom and the understanding and the ability to bring forth your word. That after the believers were just judged twice, the Jewish people judged twice. We see the believers as my seat. We see the believers in the tribulation being judged and die for their faith. We see the Old Testament believers being judged. And we see during the tribulation the, Jew the Jews are judged. Now we see the nations are being judged. You have a judgment for everybody. Hallelujah. Which judgment seat will you stand in? Why not make a decision to follow Christ and come to Him now? Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I trust you. I believe you. And you be my Lord and my Savior. God bless you. This is your host teacher David telling you trust in Jesus. Believe him. I can tell you he will never fail you. God bless you.